Hey, what's up, YouTube? King John here, and honestly, I came to tell you guys that this entire last weekend has just been consumed by Guilty Gear Strive. All I've been playing this entire weekend has just been Guilty Gear Strive nonstop from start to the beta to the end of the beta, and I had a blast. However, honestly, I did have a few gripes with the game. Nothing too crazy to make me not want to play the game and grind it out, but enough to make me feel like the game is being slightly held back in a way. Now, I'm going into this completely raw and without a script, so if I forget anything, I, I'm sorry, but anyways, let's just jump into it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is anti-airing. Anti-airing and strives work similarly to past Guilty Gear games, where you have a 6P and a 2 Heavy Slash, and your 6P should be your go-to anti air because it has head and bow. However, what bothers me about strive is that there isn't a completely um, air unblockable move. You know, something to deter people from just jumping in like maniacs. Don't get me wrong, 6Ps are way better than they were in the previous beta. In the previous beta, 6Ps were actual garbage, so they had to buff them in this beta to actually make them usable. And 6Ps are strong, don't get me wrong, but there isn't a single air unblockable normal in the game. For example, during the beta, I played Kai, and Kai arguably has one of the best 6Ps in the entire game, but he doesn't have anything air unblockable. Matter of fact, I believe no character has something that's completely a normal that's completely air unblockable, I mean. You can try DPing, you can try um, 6Ping into a special, you can try 2HS. Nothing really works as an air unblockable move to stop people from jumping. The only thing that I found to be completely air unblockable is Super. Ride the Lightning for Kai apparently has an air unblockable property. And that's cool and all, but I had to waste tension meter for that. And I feel that's like too high of a cost just to anti somebody. Honestly, the only thing that should be changed about this is maybe make 6P's air unblockable completely. I feel like that fits with the vision that they're going with the game. Unlike previous Guilty Gears, this game seems to be heading to the direction of a more grounded anime fighter rather than a air dasher, to be honest. And I feel like making 6P's air unblockable fits with what they're going for here. All right, moving on to something else. I kind of want to talk about character creativity, routing, and character expression. Now, when it comes to Guilty Gear Strive, it's pretty obvious that it's a more simplified version of what Guilty Gear used to be. Guilty Gear was a really crazy fighting game with all types of crazy maneuverability and crazy combos. And they kind of, you know, dumbed it down for the newer generation, which is me and everybody else. But with some characters, I feel like things are a little bit too toned down, even compared to the previous beta. Characters like Kind of are pretty much characters that cycle through options. And it's up to you to decide which option is best. But in terms of combos and flashiness they're not really there and i also want to make it pretty clear that being strong and being fun are two completely separate things the character can be strong while not being fun but the whole fun thing is completely subjective for example i personally made kai up till now because i find him fun and he's effective i personally find him fun because he's a, almost like a character that was made for me in a way he has good setups he has good normals he has good pressure he has he can do a little bit of everything and i find that fun Admittedly, when I switch over to Soul, I find it more fun to get confirms and to get combos and damage. It's, a, it's just a more freeing experience. I'm probably going to be switching between Kai and Soul during the, my time with the game because I find them both fun in two completely different ways. I find Kai fun by his effectiveness, by his uh, his game plan. I find those fun. But then you look at a character like Soul or Ramlethal who are both doing crazy things, crazy combos, especially Soul. Soul has been doing some crazy stuff. You, all you see on Twitter are just soul combos. And a lot of people are looking at these characters like, man, I wish my character could do something similar to that. I'm just kind of cycling through things and see what works. I feel like the solution to this is definitely to not nerf soul and Ramethal. The best option is to buff everybody else to have crazy and fun things just like soul and Ramethal. Because that, that way everybody has fun. Arc system has a bad track record of removing options instead of giving character more options. And I really don't want to see that happen with this game where it's just you're just cycling through things over and over again. And I play Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and that's a very, very simple game where you, where you recycle through things. But I find that game fun because of its neutral. I want to play Guilty Gear to go ham, you know? The next thing we should definitely talk about is the lobby functionality. Oh god. The whole lobby in Shrive is a giant mess. It used to be just this a lobby where you challenge people, you walked up to them and challenge them but now they have tabs and listen i don't know why this whole thing was changed why fix something that isn't broken the lobby is not good there's tons of error codes there's tons of uh it doesn't work if you misclick trying to challenge somebody in the lobby and you misclick on their r code you're going to be stuck there for like a good minute just looking at a loading screen 
and I played on the PS5. Just trying to challenge people is such a mess. And the whole like first to three set count, which is not really a first to three, it's more like just three games. No matter what the count for each player is, it could be 2 1 or it could be 3 0. Oh. No matter what, it's just three games, no matter what. Overall, I don't know how <laughs> the lobby can be fixed. The lobby is, just doesn't work. Maybe just try to improve the quality of life of the lobby. Or give us an option to take out that giant news bar. And yeah, maybe give some Wi-Fi indicators, some, in, you know, some wi um, ping displays. But overall, the lobby is bad and it's probably forever going to be bad. And the last thing I finally want to touch on is just the air movement of the game. Since the previous beta, they actually nerfed air movement quite a bit nerfing the air backdash quite a lot and adding a jumping startup of four frames compared to last beta they also added recovery to air dashing air normals have an unreactable three frame landing recovery it just feels like a weird change to me i feel like you want more movement in a guild to your game obviously they wanted to limit the, the, the jumping but i feel like all they really need to do was just add an air block on the move to restrict jumping or deter people from jumping Honestly, with this change, I feel like it needs to be reverted, especially the air backdash. Air backdashing is rough. Air backdashing is really rough compared to the previous beta. You barely get any spacing between you and your opponent. It's just kind of there. You kind of use it sometimes to get out of situations, but it's not nearly as good as it was before. The landing recovery is fine. The jumping recovery and air dashing recovery could be fine, but it kind of feels a little bit wonky because the characters aren't built for that. I feel like this change should be reverted or tweaked in a way um because it just feels like the game is struggling more because of it it feels like they're scrambling to fix the problems that they didn't really anticipate i think i'm gonna add to there guys i pretty much have said any everything that i wanted to get off my chest i really like the game a lot right now this is a few gripes that i had that if only these were taken care of the game would be near perfection they're not enough to not make me play the game i'm still gonna buy the game i'm still gonna grind the game i'm still gonna be become great at the game it's just that these things i wish could be fixed before release Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. But you recently just started you doing the whole YouTube thing, so it'll really help out the channel a lot. And oh, let me know what changes you guys would do to the final version of Strive on release in the comments down below. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.